Hello. Welcome back to Have You Seen with Nick Lance. All right. Um, so this week was my turn to ask you a question mm. or ask if you'd seen a movie. So, yeah. hey, Lance. Yes. Have you seen The Eye? I have now. That's good. So it's, uh, I was kind of surprised that this is one that you hadn't seen. Because I think I remember going to the theaters to see this one. And that would have been that around the time that we knew each other. So that you weren't one of the ones that went to the theater with me to see it. Mm. It's kind of surprising. I wonder if it just maybe it was obscure and, or maybe we're doing something. Because this is a remake and I had seen the original. So when this one came out, mm-hmm. I'm like, well, I'm going to go see this movie because I like the other one. And Jessica Alba. Because, I mean, so here's the here's my personal DVD up on the shelf here. The Eye. Mm. Look at that. I'm, it's right there. Good, that's a good point. So I'm surprised that you saw this one in the theater. I'm pretty sure I did. Because it came out in 1980, and I don't remember seeing Jessica Alba. It's got Robin Williams and Shelley Duvall. Robin Williams was Popeye, and then Shelley Duvall was Olive Oil. So, um... You know, this joke would have worked better if I didn't hand you literally my DVD. I'm still committed. I'm still (laughs) going for it. Uh, Okay. Now, uh, yeah, it's funny because when you asked me if I'd seen this one and I said no... Like even Amber, after the fact, was like, "We we it. saw this one," and I, I like, and I think what might have happened is y'all might have watched it over at the house, mm-hmm. but that was like when I was doing my whole World of Warcraft thing, where I was like into the game, mm. so I was probably like playing World of Warcraft while y'all were watching it on TV, and I just wasn't paying attention to it because I, while watching it, I don't remember seeing this movie at all. So it's not like I was worried it was going to be one that you got like fifty percent through, and you're like, "Oh yeah, I remember this movie." I don't remember any bit of it. Okay, so that's good. Um, so yeah, it was it was it was brand new for me. Um, so how about we start with the uh, with our usual? So Lance, what did you think of the eye? So if I was to rate the eye, uh, yeah, I've got my prediction. Yeah, we, we're we're doing predictions now. We're doing predictions. And then uh, so if I was to give it a, a rating of zero to ten, mm-hmm. I would give the movie. I'd say a six. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna hold up this little piece of paper right here. Booyah! Look, I, I haven't, I haven't underlined it because I, because we play, because we play a uh, role playing games. I know that it's important to underline it because otherwise, I could just be like, oh, did you say nine? <laughs> right. No cheating allowed. Yeah. Yeah. No. It. it you nailed it. Um. So I, it's it struck me as a movie that you would kind of like. I think a, a little bit better than average. I mean, it, it was so. Well, we'll get on. We'll get into all that um, mm-hmm. when we get into spoilers. So, um, what? If I was to guess, what? Well, I mean, I have my guess. Yeah, yeah you got So, if you were to rate it, you know, honestly, I think this one might be an eight for me because I was waffling between a seven and an eight. But really, it's one of those ones that I I think I watch it like every year or like every other year. It's one I go back to, and I still get like chills at some point in time. Like, despite the fact that I know shit's coming, it's just it's. <laughs> It's got a little bit of the creepiness to me, but I also think just the story is interesting because it's kind of like a horror mystery, I guess. Yeah. So you're kind of trying to figure out like what the fuck is going on in this movie, okay. and you're kind of there for for um, Sydney's journey as she tries to determine what the fuck is going on. So I guess seven. It's pretty pretty close. Yeah. So I was one off, but um, yeah, it, the movie was good, but it's like I went and I looked um, just because so. This movie came out after, like, Final Destination. Mm-hmm. And to me, the movie was, like, very Final Destination-y, where, like, yeah, you maybe. know, Death's doing its thing, and, like, she's seeing, like, she's getting, the the main girl gets a premonition of things that are about to happen, um, but it, like, has no relevance until, like, later on. Yeah. Um, it's like she gets these new eyes, and she gets the Death Watch ability, where she can, like, see the Grim Reaper? Yeah. So, shall we start... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, we gave you a week. So, um, sorry. <laughs> Fuck. You're fine. Mm. So, with that in mind, um, our ratings, we're going to really talk about the movie more than just kind of the th- general thematics of, of the movie and yeah. kind of get into the finer, carve into the finer bits of it. So, if it's not one you've watched and you're like really worried about spoilers, I mean, for, for one, 2008. I mean, watch the movie. And for another, it's good. You should watch it. I fucked that up for somebody. I feel so bad right now. <laughs> um, 
uh, if if you haven't seen the movie and I just gave something away, I, I apologize. But I, I believe that some of that was in the trailer. It's yeah. I mean, so, this this, uh, this trailer is like avoid the trailer if you can. It's very spoilery. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. you kind of you kind of get this. I mean, you kind of get the sense that something weird's going on really early on in the movie. Yeah. So we're gonna be talking talking about in depth about the movie. So. Serious spoiler territory, so if you haven't seen the movie, turn it off. And uh, no, actually, just uh, uh, mute it and minimize, uh, it. minimize it and let it play so we can get the view. And then, precious views. And then come, precious. Yeah, and then come back to this timestamp and then uh, the five minute and, and 40 second timestamp. And, uh, you know, it just will we'll continue on. But All right. um, you've been warned. So um, you were saying she sees weird. Shit. Yeah, so she's bl- shadow people. she's a blind girl. She mm-hmm. gets a cornea transplant from a donor, and then she gets death watch ability, where it's like anybody that's about to kick it, yeah, they see uh, she, yeah, she sees Reaper like, crew show up, yeah, yeah, and like basically escort them to the afterlife. But like people, it seems that don't don't want to go um, well, initially. It's, well, it's it's you kind of got you kind of get the mixture of it because there's the woman who's hit by. The, the car or whatever and you see her body on the ground that's like when Sydney like walks through her and they're both like wait what the fuck why do we walk through each other and then like they look over and there's a dead person and then the dead girl sees oh that's me I guess I'm dead and then the reaper comes and takes her by the shoulder and she just goes with it yeah and she just walks but then so, you have the old, you have, yeah. you have the old woman at the beginning moves like I don't want to go it's cold when I, you're dead I don't want to go it's so cold and it's yeah. like well then walk into the light maybe it'll get warmer <laughs> yeah. or, but um yeah, it's like she gets the death watch ability where she could see where people are about to die. Like these yeah. things show up, and she knows that like they're about to basically uh, shuffle off their mortal coil. Yeah, and she can also see kind of the remnants of um, like ghosts, like their spirits kind of left behind, and maybe they're lost, or maybe the reaper never came for them or something. So they're just kind of left over for whatever reason. Yeah, and she sees them kind of like reliving, either reliving their death or just kind of stuck in their kind of eternal damnation of not being able to be free they miss the boat essentially yeah, yeah yeah um but yeah it's it's like it's a trope it's tropes that i've seen before like mm-hmm. final destination thing seeing the future of like a particular event that's about to happen or the death watch ability she's literally Whoopi goldberg's character from ghost mm-hmm. so well, i think Whoopi goldberg was lying about it until she met uh, patrick swayze yes and then it seemed or or, or the kid from um I see dead people. Yeah, yeah, no, six cents. Yes, that. So, like, yeah, it's been done before, but I'll tell you the one part that did get me. Mm-hmm. Um, as I'm watching it and seeing that she's seeing ghosts and stuff like that, I'm like, oh, fuck, it's one of these movies. Yeah, yeah. But then, like, when they do the whole thing where, like, they show her the picture of Chloe Grace Moretz, like, mm-hmm. that takes the picture with her when she gets her little operation. Yeah, yeah, it's like the picture before and, um, Sydney, or, like, after Sydney's operation before... Uh, the little girl's operation to, yeah they take a quick picture of and she's other. like who's the girl and they're like that's the that's the little girl that was visiting you she's like no who's the other girl and they're like that's you and she's like that's not me like that part got me yeah like i did not expect that to happen because when she was like who's the girl i was like you literally talked to her days before <laughs> and you she's know. like who's who's that it's like sydney that's you yeah like, that's not me and then she goes and like holds up the picture and looks at herself but it's the whomever had her eyes before is it, like staring directly back yeah at it's her. spooky seeing like the girl from the beginning of the movie like kind of like looking at, out the mirror at her um and they so, both have that intense look on their face because i mean first of all it's mirror but there's kind of like you get the kind of other the sense of like is that person like really her is like because it's kind of like staring back at her a bit a bit intensely or well, I, I imagine she's staring pretty intensely. She's staring pretty intensely, too. Because, like, she's looking at herself for the first time as a grown up, and, and she's just, just like, like scru- scru- scrutinizing it or whatever. But, I mean, think about how much of a mind fuck that would be. Yeah, like, it, so someone puts down a picture of you, and here's you, and, like, that's not what I look like. Yeah, and then you go and look in the mirror, and it's like literally every reference that you have since you were able to see. This is what I look like, yeah, yeah. and then you, t- it's like if, if someone brought up a picture of, like, you, and they're like, Lance, this is you, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Come on, you know, and then I'm like looking at that. that I mean, that would to me that would be a fucking mind fuck, you yeah, know. So I, I I did get a and little I, bit of. And a, I think that's why I really like this movie is that turn. Yeah, I, I got a little little bit of a chill off that part. Um, that did surprise me, but like the rest of the movie, I don't know. Like it always bothers me whenever you have one of the movies where like. <laughs> you you have the person that's going through a thing and no one believes them, mm-hmm. and it's like. 
I get it. If someone walked up to me in the street and they're like, I see dead people, I'd be like, good job. Okay, buddy, good job. You know, and I'd keep on moving. But like, that. but honestly, if like you walked up to me and you were like, some shit is happening and I'm seeing dead people, I would take it a little bit more seriously coming from you because I yeah. know you. But you also wouldn't necessarily be like, oh, Nick is seeing dead, dead people exist. You'd be like, what the fuck's wrong with Nick? We need to get him to the doctor. Yeah, like I'd be worried enough to like, you know, want to, and, and don't don't get me wrong. I'm not expecting her to be like, I see dead people and everyone's like, oh, okay. Well, do you see Mickey Mantle? Like, but tell him that I loved, like, his, you know, watching him in baseball. Like, yeah, like. But you would expect people to take your, not necessarily what you're saying truthfully, but at least that you're experiencing yeah. something. Yeah, I just, in the movies, I just wish they wouldn't waste so much movie, like, uh, most, so much time in the movie, like, trying to convince people around you. It's like, Parker Posey is her sister. Mm -hmm. And it's like, these things are happening to me. I wasn't doing any of this crazy shit when I was blind, and now I've got these eyes. And it's like, oh, well, the eyes are fucking with you. No. I don't, I don't think she really talked to Parker Posey about it too much. She was mostly bringing it up with um, her, like, doctor, therapist person who was supposed to help her. Like, like you've been blind your entire life, and you're walking around. People are going to assume that you know things. Like, if they give you a cue. Like, I mean, if you're blind, you might never know that, like, that means, like, over there. You right. see someone, like, pointing the thumb. So he's supposed to be there to help teach her these kind of cues. And then she's like, hey, um, so what does it mean when I, like, walk around and, like, a dead person leaps at me? And they're like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Par pardon me? <laughs> so I was like doing this thing and, like today and like this woman came at me and like rushed at me and like left her handprint in the sugar. Like, why would you do that? And it's like, um, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're coming, which where you're coming from. But like even then, like there, there should be, okay, so hey, case in point, mm -hmm. when she goes into the Chinese restaurant yeah. and like she's standing in there and like people are ordering food and everything like that, no one's really acknowledging her existence and then she yeah. finds out that she like walked into a scene that happened three weeks earlier. Yeah, yeah. Or it's, or it's, I really like that scene too. Just like how she's sitting there and she's kind of like, okay, I just had this really freaky dream and then like you just kind of see the guy in the back chopping and like people going about their business but then it, you, you see her through the um, through the, the divider glass or whatever mm -hmm. and you just see it like cracking and she's looking at it like, why the fuck is no one acknowledging this? And then she uncracks immediately and she's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> why yeah. the fuck is this shit happening? Yeah, like you see, it, it does the whole Silent Hill thing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, where like uh, the, the, the vision crumbles or whatever. Um, but it's, it starts cracking, like, and then you kind of see like the menu in front of her like curl up like for heat and then just flaps back to normal after that. Okay. Uh, you know what? Actually, I did see that, but like for some reason I was like, why is this happening? And then I guess I didn't connect that after the, mm -hmm. the restaurant like caught on fire. Or it's, it's like going through this, it's going through small stages of it being on fire. Like first, the, if the, her table catches on fire and then it's fine. And then it's just kind of like, what the fuck is this shit? And then it kind of like all at once, she sees it all burst into flames. And then she's in the aftermath of this place that burnt down. And she's just kind of standing around like, um, all right. Yeah. But I mean, even then, like her therapist shows up mm -hmm. and she's like, this place caught on fire. Like people died. And like the, guy, and the guy's like, yeah, this place, like it, it caught on fire like three weeks earlier. Yeah, it was, on, it was on the paper. Yeah. But like it should carry some weight of being like. This many people I saw burn up in the fire. Like, these people got yeah. injured. Like, if you could predict that stuff or, like, at least say what happened in depth. Mm -hmm. Stuff that wouldn't have been in the paper or, like, on the news. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I feel like it would have lent a little more credibility to her. And maybe they could have figured out what the fuck was going on. Because I hate the whole thing of because she's the pretty girl and I don't believe her. I'm going to put everything on the line mm -hmm. to, like, try and help this person out. Even though, from him, it seemed more like he was just genuinely, like, he cared about her. Because, like, he goes from being really fucking mean to her. He's kind of a dick. Yeah, like, he's really mean. And then, like, she just does that, oh, well, I didn't want you to jeopardize your career. And then, like, walks off. And then all of a sudden he has the turn where he's compassionate. And it's like, it's not as believable to me. No, I think he's the final straw that broke the back or whatever. We finally just, like, that last bit of evidence where it's like he he saw her, like, like who is this? And then I think after that she, like, broke her... No, that was, that was before that. It's like, what was the thing that was the turn? I think it was him, her just kind of flat out saying to him, like, it's like, I would lose my job. Like, I'd lose my job if I did this. Yeah. Shit. Don't ask me to do, because she said, I need to know whose eyes these were. Yeah. And like, I need to know who I'm looking at. Like, and he's can, like, don't ask me that question because that's confidential. It's uh, like, yeah, I, I could lose my license. And she, and she just kind of threw out the, like, yeah. It's like me, I'm not important. Well, yeah. you're, you're I don't want you to lose your precious yeah, license. Yeah, your precious license. And yeah. I think that was kind of the him realizing that, like, you know, maybe I am being, maybe I am being a dick. And, Maybe I should try to see if I... Maybe, maybe this is what's needed to help her. Well, to, to play devil's advocate to my own question about, like, non-believability with the people, it's like, okay, uh, help the pretty girl who's probably fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. 
or lose my license, you know, the thing that, like, keeps a house over my fucking head and, like, food in my stomach. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I Maybe. don't get me wrong. It sounds like I'm really tugging at threads on this movie. For the most part, I did like it. Yeah, yeah. But just fine. It's, for the most part, finding, like, where's where's a five, where's a six, and where's a seven, and trying to, like, find that here's what pulls it down a little bit for me, and here's what brings it up a bit for me, and all that no. kind of stuff, and trying to find, find the fun bits to it. Because it's one of those ones that there's enough... I enjoy that, like, when she first gets her sight, everything's blurry, and it's mm. very um, uh, obfuscated or whatever. And you're Out just, of focus. Yeah, and you're just not sure what the fuck's going on. Mm. And she's, like, walking around, and it's kind of um, disorienting, where she's, like, in the hallway, like, hey, like, I just... Her, her roommate or whatever in the hospital, like, gets up and, like, I don't, I don't want to go. So, and then she gets up and walks, like, hey, where are you going? Yeah. And then, like, goes out and gets that kind of very creepy, like, oh. It's cold. And it's like she's gonna have that ghostly figure and she's not there and like what the fuck is are these what eyes are, are good for like you see a blurry yeah. figure and then it's gone and then it's here and then it's coming at you like well, I don't want this shit <laughs> go back to playing my violin in the dark <laughs> yeah it's but like that's the other thing is it always seems like ghosts are fucking dicks man mm-hmm. like they, it's I, I don't know like I suppose if I was a ghost and you know I suppose there'd be enough confusion, especially after you're like being around for a while, like you're waiting and you don't know what's going on because they never seem to really know it's or like, understand what's it, happening. Yeah, they don't seem to understand that they're dead. And then I wonder if, in, in a lot of these little universes or whatever, where if you're dead, you can't like necessarily take on new information. And it's that kind of getting someone to give you like the update of the information is what is necessary for you to move on to the next stage of life. Mm-hmm. So you've got all these people kind of stuck. In the state they were before death, but also confused about it, and kind of continually like reliving the thing that left them dead in the first place, and then just being like, imagine you're dead walking around talking to people and none of them acknowledge you, and then one day someone's looking at you and you're like, why is no one fucking talking to me? You might be, you might be pissed at her. Well, I mean, you know, I, I guess if it was me and I was like, excuse me, excuse me, and if there's like years of that, I'd probably be like, rah, rah. and then you have that one person that's like. And looks at you right in the eye. I don't know if I'd be like, Bruh! you know, I'd probably be like, you could see me. You could see me. Because, like, I, I think another movie, The Frighteners. Mm-hmm. Or, like, you know, like, the, the undead people or the, the spirits would be walking around. They're like, you could fucking see me, right? You could you could see me right now? Like, that, I think it would be more of that, of, like, I'd be, like, super surprised. It's like, fuck, finally. Mm-hmm. Finally, I found that one person, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but... I'm not a ghost. I don't know what they're going through, and it could be somewhat traumatic of whatever happened to them. But it just seems like the dude in the elevator, creepy, hover above the floor, and That's, like that was so good though, gurgly sound guy. It's yeah, like of course he's missing most of his face. He probably lacked the tongue necessary to make, to make uh, proper syllables. You don't really even get to see his face. It's like really blurry behind her. Yeah, um, and you can see like bits of his teeth kind of like and they look it looks like his face was just kind of like scooped out with an ice cream scoop or something like that i'd really like to know what happened to him to make him just hang out in an elevator i'm guessing the elevator like snapped and fucking like crashed or something i don't know but it was it was really cool how like that elevator door opens and there's a guy standing in a corner just like staring at the corner and she's like nope and then she's like um and then she looks like over at the uh at the camera and, and he's, he's not, not on, there. he's not on the camera and then two people walk up and get in the elevator with him, and they're like, "Hey, you getting on?" And she like looks at the camera again. She sees them in there, but not him in the corner. She's like, mm. "Nope." And they're like, oh, "Okay, whatever." So then she calls the next elevator and gets in it. And he's, he's not he's in there. He's not in there. So she gets in, and she's riding up. And then she, as she's just kind of staring at the door, you see like his form materializing the reflection of the door, and she's like, "Oh, all right." <laughs> and then she's like, next floor, please. Any floor, yeah. That... And then you see his feet like turn around as he's kind of like hovering, and you just kind of see like him blurry behind her with his just face missing and kind of making gaspy voice, uh, yeah, uh, voiceless uh, noises. Uh, the thing that like made me laugh about that part because yeah, it was creepy. Yeah, yeah. But it's almost like, mm... oh, she didn't take this one. Shit. Okay. Uh, where'd you um. Go? Uh, let me let me fly down through the floor and peek. Oh, she's getting the next one. I bet you ain't gonna get in if I get in there right now. So, oh, she's in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's just, I, I certain things like I guess I wasn't able to enjoy it as much because I've I've seen the trope done. Mm-hmm. Um, the movie did it well. I will say that. Um, since you brought up like the whole like menu like doing the bubbling up and then like going back to normal mm-hmm. like I didn't really catch that on my initial watch no, really, okay. um, 
the thing that really kind of took me out of it is like the end of the movie when they're going back across like the border into America, mm-hmm. and it's like there's a thing happening, and you know we're probably not gonna get it through tonight. And then she starts working out, little girl, back of the van. Yeah, it's, I've had this dream. Mack truck with this number. I've had this dream. People are gonna die here. And then she's like, she she runs around and she's like, telling everyone, get off the bus. You're all gonna die. And they're just like, what? And then she's like, there's a bomb on the bus. And they're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Someone is like, is this a terrorist thing? She's like, yes. Yes. If that's, if that's what it takes to get you off the bus, there's a bomb on this bus. There's yeah. a terrorist bomb. I see. And I, I liked that part. And then I liked the whole part with, like, the little girl and everything like that. Like, her getting her out of the RV. But, it, like, it kind of took it out of it because, like, to me, that was, like, the final destination-y thing where you see the big fucking terrible event yeah. and you have to try and save people. Whereas if that was the final destination, that would have happened at the beginning of the movie. He would have seen everyone die, and then it would have rewound, and then he stops it, and then all those people die in that same order again, or whatever. Well, she saw she saw the big event at the big movie at the beginning of the movie. Uh, for like her first dream, I think, and kind of she would pick up bits intermittently. So the ghost can see the future, too. So her eyes yeah. were apparently better. She saw like something that was coming way the fuck down the road. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's and then well, transferred it kind of, to her. They're kind of vague about what it is exactly that Anna was able to see. It's just kind of like she had this gift. It allowed her to see like it was a, some sort of psychic gift or something like that. And it let her see like the other side, whatever that means. And maybe the reason why these little Reaper guys show up is because they know what's coming too. And they're like, oh, in three minutes, I need to be downtown because someone's going to die. So I'm going to have to go ghost over there. Hey. Yeah, but, but like... There he is. He's going to die in a little bit. But even then, if like the, the chick runs... Well, I guess that's... That's counterproductive to what I was thinking because it was like if the chick's gonna run on the bus and be like, "You're all gonna die." It's like, guys, we don't have to go over there. She's gonna save all those guys, so let's like save our time and just. Like, but if they wouldn't have shown up, she wouldn't have jumped on the bus anyway. So, well, well I wonder if it's going up kind of like they, for some reason, can see the future too, and they know that okay, this thing's about to happen, and then she runs on and fucks with their plans, like, "Hey, bitch, we're working off the same information here." Yeah, it, we're do, we're doing something natural, and you're 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 putting these back on the world. It's like, hey, I'm. I'm, I'm I've got ghost food to put on the ghost table. Yeah, right. Stop yeah. Taking, taking food in my Stop go- taking ghost food out of my ghost children's mouth. Um, out of my shadow man's. My shadow my shadow children's mouths. Because they weren't Reapers, because there was like a ton of them. Yeah. Um, they were almost like the like Reaper monkeys in um, that, that one TV show that like uh, uh-huh. Six Feet Under or something okay. like that. I can't remember what it was called. But... I, I think in the, because I watched some of the special features, I think they call them Shadow Men or something like that. And, like, mm. they actually have a guy play the little shadow man, and he's, like, fucking rail thin and that kind of... He's got that, like, weird movement, like, down, and they just kind of, like, touch him up to make him look uh, ghostly and kind of, like, a translucent. It was really cool to see him, like... Because they showed, like, a, a clip of him kind of, like, turning to this, the camera and, like, opening his mouth. It's kind of like a... And, like, he did it. It was cool. So, do you think it was, like, Slender Man's first job? Mm. I mean, he, he kind of reminded me of, like, Doug Jones, whereas Doug Jones is just kind of that real thin guy that you could, like, throw makeup on and make him whatever you want. The, the guy that played Abe in yep. Hellboy? And uh, the guy in Pan. And, um, uh, and, uh, and uh, the gentleman in Buffy, the one that had the, the big smiley ones, and they had those kind of very flowy mind movements. Okay, and it was the episode where they were, they were completely silent? Yeah, and they cut out hearts. Okay. Watched that episode one time a very long time ago, and the most thing I remember about it was Buffy going. <laughs> and then she had to put the stake. And then she had hand. to put the stake in her hand to do it, and they were like, "Oh, oh okay, okay, yeah, we gotcha." Um, yeah, it, it's the the movie was good. I enjoyed it. It was just like I said, once they kind of like did the 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 whole thing of like she could see people that are about to die, and it was kind of like, okay, and then like you have all the ghosts are pretty much like douchebags, mm-hmm. and it was just like okay. Um, Mainly, it was just a lot of jump scares for me at that point. Yeah, I mean, they, they kind of do that a lot where you're, she's kind of piecing things together a bit. Like where she wakes up at night and she hears her stove going weird. So she goes and like opens it up and is like, what the hell is this weird clicking thing? And then like fire and you see her face. Going, ah. And then she wakes up and is like, oh, okay. What was the point of that? Yeah, it, like nothing nothing came of it. But Or was she seeing it's when just, her was mom just, was on fire or whatever? It's just kind of the, the fire. And, it, and it's kind of like... Oh, I'm seeing all this stuff for the fire because as she later learns that, you know, Anna was trying like to save everyone from this fire. She's like, oh, I'm seeing all this fire and burning and death because of this thing. When really it's because the gas tanker on the freeway was going to get erupted and everyone was going to die a horrible burny death. Yeah. And they kind of have that um, linear sort of means of death that that's probably like why she keeps linking all this stuff with with Anna's death. And she's going to go to Mexico to figure out like 
Who, why'd I get these eyes from somebody? It's <laughs> fucking weird. Okay, that makes sense, but I had one other question for you. Mm -hmm. um, so in the mo beginning of the movie, you have the kids running around calling her a bruja. Bruja. Um, and then you see her basically hang herself. Mm -hmm. But she like puts the thing around the pipe or whatever and goes to hang herself, but it's not until the monster's like, mm -hmm. and like, you know, gets right up in her grill and then she like falls off the chair. But then you see the chair like, like really like leap across the room. Yeah. Did that thing kick the chair out from underneath her? Did it so, kill her? No, I don't think so. So um, when you watch the movie and, you know, later on when uh, Sydney goes to the house and the mother's like, she li relives her death every night. Mm -hmm. You need to stop it. So she's like, okay. So she goes to the basement and like has to like, she hears her setting up and that's when she has to get the belt and like loop it around the trap door and like pull it up. Mm -hmm. When she goes down and sees Anna like hanging herself, you see Anna kick the back of the chair across and it goes flying across the room. Anna, mm -hmm. Anna like really kicked that chair out from under her to get that necessary force drop to kind of try and break the neck. Kind of break, break the neck. And it was probably... I don't know. It be it being coming forward, being like, I'm just gonna go get another dead person. Why is she looking at me? Stop looking at me. Ah. Yeah, that annoys me. You know. And now I've got I've got your eyes in the room twice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, that, but, that makes more sense. But I was also kind of the fact that she relives it every night. I wonder if maybe it's not if what we saw in the beginning isn't really necessarily what happened to her, but it's her reliving her own death. Hmm. Maybe that's just kind of we saw the kind of after image of her going downstairs and hanging herself and next night she'd go down and hang herself again and next night and maybe that was just kind of the dramatized dramatized version of her events of the death i mean it's probably not but it, it could be i mean it, it sounds logical by like movie ghost lot yeah, yeah ghost, all that ghost logic <laughs> ghost logic or so yeah it, it works yeah um but yeah it's it, it i did have fun with the movie it, it was a good watch um just the only thing that really kind of like got me was like the whole like who's the other girl like that part happened yeah. and that that was you know most of the movie I was just kind of like okay jump scare it's kind of spooky okay all right that's kind of spooky okay all right that's different but like it got to the point where like it, everything was so muddled with what she was seeing it was like I was constantly asking myself okay who's but, fucking dead in this scene mm -hmm. or like is everything going to roll back and like she's going to be like you know is this guy that she's talking to has he really been dead all along or mm -hmm. you know like it, it got to that point with the movie, but like when she asked, like, "Who's the girl in the picture?" Like that was where I was like, "Oh shit!" Yeah. Like, and that's the first time I've had like a really good "oh shit" moment in a movie for a while. or a TV show for a very long time. Okay, I mean, I, yeah, I'll take solace in that, that that turn is good. Yeah, no, that that part was excellent. Like, it, it's I don't know if I would have given the movie as high if it, it wouldn't have had that that bit, but like. The, the, I guess the, the other thing, the reason I asked you about the monster like pushing her off the chair or whatever is because um, I get that she could see him, and I guess it makes sense that they get pissed off when you look at them or whatever because yeah, you're not supposed, you're to, not see supposed to see him. You're not supposed to see him or whatever. But like, um, they make it seem like he knocks her off the chair. And I, I'm sure that was kind of the... A lead away? A lead away to give you that... Because for the most part, it seems like... If you watch if you rewatch this movie knowing that like, oh, these things are just... The messengers or whatever they come to take people the escorts they take people to the afterlife mm. they're not dangerous mm. and, but you don't learn that until later on in the movie yeah. so early on they make them seem kind of sinister because i mean they're coming here and like grab, taking people taking taking people sure they're killing them and taking their souls when but, really they're probably here when someone dies and they're just like all right time to go yeah so you kind mm. of in order to that's the old trickaroo on the on the audience yeah, the uh, the the old uh, head fake. Yeah, oh, oh, it's who's who's really the villain? Yeah, yeah. That, so no one really. Okay, that 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 makes more sense. But like, here's the other part that really bothered me. Mm -hmm. So she has the like heavy glaucoma, like hazed over eyes. Mm -hmm. She gets the cornea transplant, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the movie, she catches a piece of glass to one of her eyes. Oh no, they, they get um, if you if you look at the back windshield when it breaks. They like break into a bunch of pieces, and her eyes get like raked oh. with glass. Well, even that withstanding. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the movie, she's got the hazed over eyes again. So was it like, oh well, we were gonna throw your eyes out after like three weeks, but because you're back and you need them back, so we got your eyes right here in a cooler. <laughs> we're gonna pop in the fucking hazed over ones, or or they could have like put glass eyes in her head. Yeah, I think that is just the. Cause, I mean, that's even the image that's on that little thing with of her with her kind of glazed over eyes. I don't know that the camera is going to be quite good enough to we'll pick, try. pick up the yeah, you can kind of 
kind of angle it uh. and, and see that she's got the blind air quotes like what people in movies tend to shorthand for blind sure the hazy eye yeah and i think that's more of a um a movie trope that we, we need to show that someone's blind we need to show that she's blind again i think this would be more appealing for our watchers if they could just look at jessica alba's face for the reminder of the thing i have jessica alba <laughs> and i needed a new house um <laughs> Cute. I like her. Yeah, she she was. I think she. I think she was really good in this movie. Yeah, but yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I I would I watch it again? Probably not. Really? I don't know. Like if it was one of those ones where like you brought it over to the house and we were just in a let's watch some comfort movies mm-hmm. kind of a mood, then yeah, I'd probably watch it again. Um, but like like the rabbit is already out of the hat at mm-hmm. this point, so I don't think there's any ever going to be anything that's like really going to kind of like be super joyful for me to watch again yeah whereas i think this is one i've probably watched like maybe a half a dozen times Mm -hmm. maybe maybe even a little more because i think i watched it twice last year once Mm -hmm. just because i'm like i haven't seen the eye in a while Mm -hmm. so i threw it in and watched it and then another time i was like talking to someone online and the eye was free on youtube at the time i'm like hey we could watch the eye so we were on discord we just watched it together and it's just kind of one of these it's one of the movies i occasionally show to people because i think a lot of people miss it Mm-hmm. And maybe overlook it, and I think there's enough cool stuff in there that that it's worth it's worthy of kind of mining it for for cool story purposes or whatever we want to call it. Another thing, but um, actually now I'm thinking about it, and it's it's the one that came to me when I was watching it, but for some reason I didn't mention it when I was saying like all the other movies that I was comparing it to. Mm-hmm. So, um, Stir of Echoes, mm-hmm. like it, yeah, yeah. It's, it gave it's... me a huge, heavy Stir of Echoes kind of vibe. Mm-hmm. Well, um, or like, yeah, he gets the the shining or whatever it was, and he can see. It's the shinin. The shinin. We don't want to get sued. We don't want to get sued. So, where you can see kind of like the other side, which we're not going to go necessarily into Stir of Echoes, but if that's a great movie, if you've not watched Stir of Echoes, we've and, both and seen if, it though. Yeah, yeah, and if we might just talk about it to talk about it, but I mean, if you like the style of mystery slash horror movies, then then watch Stir of Echoes if you've not seen it. It's really good. It's it's one of those movies that's like. To me, it was an instant classic. When I, the first time I watched, it, I was like, "This movie is fucking it's, it's, good." It's amazing. amazing it's movie. it's the best Kevin Bacon movie I've seen in a very long time. I don't know. If Tremors exists. Tremors <laughs> is a good movie. It's got Remo Williams in it too, so I think that's that's pretty good. But and it's got Reba McIntyre. I fucking love Reba McIntyre. Yeah, yeah. It's just a, I, but, like, I like Tremors for all of its weird oddities. But yeah, I think the biggest thing I liked about Tremors is like you have the things that are like eating people, and they they didn't be like them Tremor monsters. They like they didn't do yeah, the yeah they called they didn't them graboids. The, yeah, they called them graboids. They didn't. No one had the titular line or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm feeling Tremors. Yeah, <laughs> da, 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 da. those Tremors monsters are coming again. But like they called them graboids, and I was like, that's pretty fucking good. Yeah, you know, because it's kind of stupid and corny. Yeah, yeah, but like you know, what what are you gonna call gigantic worms that come out of the fucking uh, thing to like eat you. Well, I think they also named him after they saw the snake, and then it was like a little grabby snake. Oh, it's a little graboid, and they saw like the thing come out of the ground. They're like, oh, okay. But still, that's like you know somebody for a fact was like, so these we're gonna call the movie Trimmers. It's about trimmer monsters that come and get you. And then someone else was like, isn't that a little too on the nose to call them that? We got to give it a better name. And it's like, dude, we've got thirty four dollars in this production of this movie. Let's not get like too fucking crazy with uh, with alliteration in this one. But um, yeah, no, I. I might watch it again in a couple of years, especially if I did maybe watch this with y'all back in the day and I just don't remember it. And and maybe maybe we'll forget the turn again. And yeah, watch it. I'll forget the turn again and we'll watch it again. I'll be like, oh, yeah, this movie. So, so I mean, I guess speaking of this movie being one that I kind of I said, I mentioned mining for information or whatever. So we're known to play D&D from time to time. Mm-hmm. And back in the day, I ran an Eberron game, but I kind of like fast forward the timing. So it was more of like 1920s. So there was jazz and like cars, but the cars were powered by elementals and stuff like that. Yes, yes. Um, so the moon, moon saw uh, game. His, his name's Wolf Wolf Song. Wolf Song. Wolf Song. Um, so uh, in making the story, I knew that I just wanted there to be kind of everyone was kind of brought together from across the world at the behest of someone like willing this jazz club to him. And he had this kind of like leftover journal. And whoever touched the journal would get the ability to essentially have like that little death watch ability. Hmm. And that's kind of where I pulled it from. Where you could okay. see whoever touched the journal would get the ability to see dead people. And the, right. dead, and the dead people were pissed. I didn't know that. And they were, and they hated being seen. And it was lucky, lucky Shane, 
walked over and picked up the journal first. So for the rest of the game, (laughs) (laughs) he would just be walking the street, seeing like people hanging from like uh, light poles or whatever. And if he acknowledged them, they would be angry as shit at him. And they would just like hound him and stuff like that. And I kind of got the idea of just like the angry dead, not wanting to be seen from like this particular movie. That was a good borrow. Yeah. So, I mean, so if you play D&D and other tabletop things, like, watch obscure stuff and take aspects you like from it. I think as Matt Colville calls it, like, steal, but, like, for your personal use. Like, you're not writing a book. I'm not going to write a book called VI, but if at my table with just me and my friends, if no one ever, no, no one ever seen the eye when I pull from it, no one's, no one's going to think twice about it. Yeah. I mean, I, just, I had no idea. Yeah. And even after watching it, I still didn't, I wouldn't have thought of that unless you brought it up, but, like, that... That makes a hundred percent sense now, um, and that was that was fun role playing that scenario because I always remembered like Shane would just be chilling, we'd be walking in an area, and dude would be like, "Don't fucking look at me!" And Shane's like, <laughs> yeah. "So," and it kind of it's, it, it was, and, it, and it's led into a couple, like, at least one game session where a ghost showed up to when he, when he was sleeping, and she had like all of her insides were missing, and he could just see like the fact that it looked like she was like autopsied on essentially. And she was just yelling at him, Julie Steiner. And he's like, what the fuck is going on? Stop yelling at me. And then she yelled at, uh, just the, those words at him a couple more times before like disappearing. And then and that kind of, was like for that game. And it started the murder mystery of like, we don't even have a body. And so we can't walk up to people and say like, she's dead. And then people be like, well, she knows she left a long time ago. And that, you was just a, have the, that was an excellent game too. Yeah, like, I that, like that one. That scenario, like the, a lot of, a lot of your scenarios in that game were fucking great. But like that one was like yeah so that's 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 still that was the, great my, the holdover that i think is is my favorite from that particular storyline that we ran well i mean you you i'm not going to ruin anything because if you ever want to talk about it at some point or something like that but like that that whole that whole role playing session was just like it was great mm-hmm. and then like the end of it was just it was fucking it was great <laughs> i love um, it i love that so if you can't tell by you know the Medusa shirt and the shirt that says rpg on it uh, we are gamers, in addition to movie lovers. I've noticed the um, uh, gamers' uh, uh, pallor and um, <laughs> yeah. The... I mean, if you can't look at how much I glow in the in the dark. Yeah, me too. That's even you're you're still darker than me. But... Comparative, but <laughs> once you shine light, once you shine lights at us. We've tried to diffuse the lights as much as possible to make, the, to make me not glow as much. No, it's just the Cherokee, Indian, and Lebanese in me. I think that gives me a little bit of a darker color, but like I'm still white, white, white. No. So, um, I think I am uh, English and French Canadian. Hmm. So as white as it, white, whitey, whitey. Okay, whitey, whitey, whitey. Yep. Cherokee, Indian, Lebanese. Um, then a bunch Scottish. of Scottish. Then a bunch of white people. Yeah, Scottish. Um, a lot of English. So yeah, I'm an American mutt. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it, it's. I think it's like you know you had the Cherokee Indian and then the Lebanese, and it's like oh, so we're going to darken the skin up a little bit, and then the Scottish guy was like, oh, <laughs> and they were just like, nope, <laughs> no, white. Uh, so, um, but anyways. So I mean, anything else we want to bring up about the eye or the as it's no spaces the. Um, no, I mean I think we hit all the finer points of it um maybe at this point in time if you've not seen the movie and i mean we've ruined the, the turn for you but maybe you want to see the turn for yourself because it's it's i've watched it six times i still love that turn well there there's still there's still a lot of stuff that we haven't really touched on that i don't think it's necessary that we touch on no 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 um but get comfortable it's okay yeah get comfortable <laughs> um but um there's still a lot that we didn't cover in this review that I think people would enjoy, even if they, you know, ignored the spoiler warning at this point, because it is a good watch. Jessica mm-hmm. Alba is a good actress, and she's not hard on the eyes. Um, and I think she acts her ass off. You got Parker Posey. I, I fucking love Parker yeah, Posey. Love Parker Posey. Um, she was um, Fiona and Josie and the Pussycats. A yes. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. That was close. For what me. was close? <laughs> That was almost a close moment between us. <laughs> what an idiot. What'd you say? I said, you're a genius or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, that, that's it's such good. a good... We, good we need to rewatch that movie. Like, we need to do a re, re-review on it, because <laughs> I'd like to bring Tim in on one of these, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that that's, like, one of his favorite movies, too. Yeah, yeah. That's a good um, movie. Especially since the fact that we put out the first review, and Tim's like, you know, I like that movie, too. It's like, if we didn't know, if I'd have known... When, 
Hey, Tim, let's know. Come and watch the re-review with us. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think we hit all the finer beats. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think we can, uh, we can stick a fork in this pig. Which means there's only one question left to ask? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, do you prefer your current corn on the cob or off? No. Um, so, hey, Nick. Hey, yes. Have you seen Freaky? Uh, I've not seen Freaky, and that's because when you first mentioned it, like, because we discussed this stuff before we film, obviously. Um, because it would suck if I was like, "Have you seen this movie?" And you're like, "Yeah," yes. and I'd be like, "Fuck." And then um, next movie, next movie, next movie. So we do we do all that before before the filming, and you kind of showed me like here all like Freaky Friday, and it's like, "Well, I've seen it, oh, like one of the Freaky Fridays." You're like, "No, it's 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 a twist on the Freaky Friday." Yes, but it's it's, it's a body it, swap movie, but it's a serial killer and a high school girl switch places. And yes, I'm, I've not seen it yet, and it's on HBO Max. So next week. We're going to talk about it in depth. So watch the fucking movie. Watch the movie. Enjoy us. Make us stop hounding you about spoilers. Well, I'm going to every time, but still. I know, but still, it's... it's yeah. It, that's, that's, the, that's the gimmick I like. I like the gimmick. Let you know what we're going to watch. Give you a week. Maybe two weeks. Yeah. So... We might, we might, we might space them out a little bit to give more people more time to watch. And also us more time to uh, fill in the gaps with more uh, like old schools and stuff like that. So the only person I can tell you that was in the movie off the top of my head, because I haven't watched it since the initial time I watched it, but I know mm-hmm. it's got Vince Vaughn. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's probably a bunch of young, younger hip hop kids in it, you know, younger kids in it that, that like the younger generation was like, oh, that's fucking like Domino Esculo or some shit. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't recognize anyone else. But like, I know Vince Vaughn. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, it's, I think you'll, I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. I'm looking forward to this one, I think. Or you'll hate it. And I'm sure we'll find out next week. Yeah, love it or hate it. Hopefully it'll be, as long as it's not boring. And I don't think it's boring. It doesn't look like it's going to be boring. I'm, I'm not going to say anything more, but. Yeah. Because yeah. those are the, those are the only movies. Like, if you give me a bad movie and it's fun, bad, I'll mm. have fun with it. If you give me a good movie and it's good, good, I'll have fun with it. If you give me a movie that's just boring, those are the only movies I don't. That kind of it could be horrible. Apart. This could be the first uh, really horrible movie I'm making you watch. Yeah, so far I think we've been, we've done pretty good. Been I think. very respectful to each other. Yeah, yeah. So there's, so. there's been no fists of the North Star as have been threatened upon many it's occasions. Coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> I don't know where we're. Gonna, I think I still have it on DVD over there. Well, cause... the important part is you're gonna have to watch it, and then you're gonna have to hand me the DVD. I'm gonna. So we are watch not it. gonna watch Fist of the North Star because <laughs> I refuse to watch that movie again. But anyways, uh, right. not the animation. The live action movie with Chris Penn. Yeah, oh, it's 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 the Dragon Ball evolution. It's of, uh, straight trash. <laughs> of, oh of my Fistic god, Star. it's so bad. Um, that is not Kinshiro. Uh, anyways, uh, so next week, Freaky. Next, next watch, Freaky. So, um, have you got any more call to actions? I guess give us more like, um, is there more mystery style ghost movies that we're that we're missing out on? Because I mean, you mentioned Frighteners is kind of one. We've mentioned Ghost. Um, Stir of Echoes. Stir of Echoes. Give us give us some more more movies of that particular genre, and also. Um, at some point in time, I think we would be interested in the kind of question of like, hey, you, hey, Nick and Lance, have you seen Throw Us a Movie? And maybe we can start taking taking suggestions and like, have we seen it? And if we've both not seen it, we'll do an episode on Get it. Get in while it's free. Because eventually it's going to be like people are going to have to pay us money on Patreon yes. to like, you know, watch these movies. So get in while it's free. Get your shots in and we'll go ahead and announce you before we like, hey, blada, blada, fucking... YouTube hoser X wanted us to watch this movie. Um, the downside of the free part is uh, when you offer their suggestions, you're going to be like, Meh. none of that. Yeah. But I, yeah, after that, it's kind of like, have you seen this movie? It's like, did you give us $5? I did. Well, then I guess we're I watching. I guess we're going to have to watch this fucking movie. And I swear <laughs> to God, if any of you say Fifth North Star, I'm coming to your house. He's already seen it. Yeah. Disqualified. Yeah. That, so <laughs> the, you have to watch it, and I have to be like, I have to fake my way through it. Chris no, 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 no. It was great. No, there's no, no faking your way through it. Almost okay. come over here. I'll bring the DVD, and we're going to sit down and watch it together. You can't make me. And I'm going to be behind you holding your head. <laughs> Eyes open. No. You watch it too. <laughs> Suffer with me. Please don't do that to me. <laughs> to, not you. I'm talking to them. Yeah. yeah. But, anyways. Yeah. I, I, think, I think that's all the. All the the questions, unless you have more questions for to, to pose to people, I don't like you know s- s- like and shit, mm-hmm. share yep. and shit. Um, please help us get some visibility on these things um, and shit and shit. <laughs> um, and then you know I, it's I, I really really just want to do this for a living. Yeah, so this is fun. Yeah, like I, who doesn't want to like. Watch a movie and then talk about it with your friends. Well, I mean, that's, that's, that's kind of the joy of watching a movie. It's been like my passion my entire life. I fucking love movies, you know. But who doesn't? Yeah, you know? yeah. everyone likes to escape with a good movie. But I, I, I have a friend who's like, I don't like movies. He likes books because he can like see things in his head. 
and like visualize stuff and i can't do that so i need it on the screen well i can do i can visualize stuff too in my head but it's like you can't no i said we talked about it before advantage i i yeah, and you showed me the graph with I should, the... I should do, like... So, if you Google um, aphantasia, like, in the images section, like, close your eyes, imagine a red, a red square. A, a red um, star, a red square. There, I've seen both of them. I can see and, it. It's clear. And, and if you can see, like, literally what you see is a red square, then I think that's what m where most people are. But then there are some people who see literally nothing. And then there's kind of the degrees in between where you get, like, the f fuzzy outline, then a better outline, and then kind of, like, a gray square, and then, like, a solid gray square, and then, like, a actual red. I see a red square in my head, and now it just grew arms and took out a top hat. Now it's tap dancing, and it's, like, now it's doing the Macarena. Now, I see a, I see a vague outline of a square, and it's just kind of, like, white on the outskirts. And, hmm. and I can't really make it move. I mean, sometimes, like, when I'm super tired and I'm, like, about to sleep... I can see, like, it's like pre-dreams where I can see shit in my head. But then, like, when I dream, I can see shit. But mm. then, like, during the day, if I just close my eyes and try to imagine something, maybe I get an outline of it. So that's always made books. I think maybe that's why I don't like reading books, because I don't read a lot of books. And I mm. think that's... Well, Amber doesn't really get that either. She doesn't get the whole, like, visual thing. But, like, she... she I guess she just reads it for what it is mm -hmm. and see and you know kind of like understands the scene that she's reading it. Honestly, I didn't know that was a thing until you and I really started talking yeah, about either. that. I, well, it's, I thought people, when people were talking about, like, mind's eye, I thought that was just, like, a thing you would say. I thought, so mind's eye, like, I think that was, like, I think that was originally, like, the stupid fucking pictures where, like, you cross your, you, you cross your fucking those eyes. Those are magic eyes. And you look down, yeah, like, I thought those pictures were bullshit, and I thought it was, like, a big joke that, like, everybody was doing, because, like, it, I always felt like Willem from fucking Mallrats. Yeah, it's a scooter. It's not a scooter. It's not a scooter, it's a sailboat. A scooter is a sailboat. Yeah, we made this joke before. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> um, like, I always thought it was bullshit. And then, like, finally one time I saw one. And I was like, oh, my God, it's real. And then I could never do it again yeah. after that. Because um, I can cross my eyes and I can unfocus on the shit. Yeah, it's not, I don't know. I, I've seen them before, but I don't. It's been so long. There's a sweet talk spot. About another, talk about another 90s thing. Yeah. But, like, I've not seen them since the 90s, so I've not had that kind of. Yeah, I'm out of practice. I'm out of focus. I've, just, I, I've only seen it one time. I saw the Statue of Liberty one time in one of the pictures. I was like, oh my god. I, dude, I felt like these waves of fucking relief where I, I actually could see it. I literally felt like Willem. Oh yeah. Euphoria. Um, but like after that, I could never see it again. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I, I never knew that was a thing. But mm -hmm. like, I guess it also makes sense of the whole, is the ballerina turning clockwise or counterclockwise? Mm -hmm. is, the, is the dress black and blue or is it gold and white? It's, you know? uh, it's blue and gold. See, I see it as I see it as so it's black and blue, or it's gold and white. Mm -hmm. and, and I, I see, see it as and I, and I see it as blue and gold, the mix between the two. Really, mm -hmm. the way the way the well, it's blue and black. Yes, really, but like the way the light shines off the um, off the black is that it's got a certain sheen to it that makes it appear to be gold. So. It's funny because when I saw the picture, I didn't know that that was the game. Mm -hmm. And I saw black and blue. And then my buddy was like, have you seen the picture of that dress thing? And I was like, which one? And he was like, the gold and white one. And I was like, I haven't seen that. And then he showed me the picture and I saw it as gold and white. And I was like, huh. And I went, no, that's black and blue. And when I said that, it turned black and blue again. I was like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> so then I would stare at the picture to see if it was like, if they were just doing like a subtle thing where they were changing it back and forth. Mm -hmm. And I never saw it. I never saw it change. It's just like I heard like an auditory illusion the other day where it's the Yanni and Laurel one. There's a different one. It's a no. It was it was a, it was a, a quote from a movie and it was like a popular movie where I can't remember what it is right now and it's not going to help anybody watching this and I'm not going to be able to remember it before we stop this. But like, there's a lot of auditory illusions where it's almost like the Yanni and thing where it's like the person will say. What did you hear? And then you have the two possible different things, and you can like think about the one thing and you hear it, and then you think about the other thing and you hear it. No, yeah, I've, I've seen it too, where people do like ba ba ba, but they're really saying, but their but their mouth is doing like the fa fa fa. Yeah. And because you're seeing the lips, you see it the other way or something like that. It's the Matrix. We're all in the fucking Matrix. Yeah, it's um, it's a, your your brain, your brain dumb. And did you also know your eyes have blind spots? What do you mean? It's like if you close an eye and kind of look at a thumb and then move it to the point it's going to disappear and you can find your eye like keep your eye focused on the thing and eventually mine's about like so right there is where my nose gets in the way well it's 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 going to be to the it's going to be to your to your left and you need to hold it at arm's length like one eye so if, if you're using your right eye it's going to be am i blind. supposed to look at it or am i supposed to look straight look, at look, it? so look at the camera uh-huh 
um, with just your right eye and then start moving your thumb or your thumb that way to the right until your eye can no longer see your thumb. And you, uh, your eye has a blind spot and it's in different places for different people. Mine's right there. So I cannot see my thumb here. Like directly in front of you? Yes. If, really? I'm, if I'm looking at it with just my right eye, I can see the camera. My thumb is invisible. I can see my hand out there. And it's, so it's, it's probably about there for me. Yeah, it's right here for me. I can totally see my thumb like... Not to do it after that. I'll, sh I'll show you a bit more afterwards. But your eye, your eyes have blind spots because so. the human body is stupid. Well, I can see it, and like I'll show, I'll tell you when I could s no longer see it. It's right. Well, no, it's there. It's, it's it's literally like that's the blind spot. I can see my thumb. I can't see my thumb, and I can't see my thumb. It's because there's a blind spot in the eye where just that little spot right there, it doesn't see. And having both eyes open, you can see it. But when you have just one eye open, it's it's no, it's it's weird. I can see it. Hmm. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so we've we've been done with this review for a while. Now yeah. we're now we're just sorry, talking, sorry. We now just... we're just talking about the weird the eye tricks you can do. <laughs> still relevant. Still on topic. <laughs> All right. So nothing else for the comments. So, and I think we're. I gotta admit one thing. Yes. When I was doing the thumb thing, mm -hmm. I saw a ghost thumb. Oh no, a ghost thumb. <laughs> the eye. Um. All right. Join us next week for freaky. Um, yeah, I think that's it. We kind of, <laughs> kind of petered out on this ending because, because I, I was going to be re retreading the ending I already did yeah. before we do this. We, topic. we overstayed our welcome on this one. Yeah, we did. So. I mean, if we were people who like edited our shit, we would have snipped all that stuff out because I know we've talked about that. We've heard me talk about that Fantasia before. It's boring at this point in time. I think it's great. I think it's interesting. <laughs> we'll talk about it in a different video. We'll waste your time in a different video where we talk we about will. this again. All right. So thank you for joining us for the eye thank you so much i'm talking to you tim and you amber <laughs> and uh let's see who else do i see out there uh, yep i guess they're the only ones that watch this particular episode mm -hmm. so. how disappointing um so i've been nick lance oh and john thank you for watching <laughs> right now there's a fucking random guy named john like holy shit yeah, john. yeah. But anyways. all right have a good one bye